magical creatures and witches and warlocks and fairies and angels and you name it. Uh, so what are angels and fairies? I mean, angels are considered to be the non-physical beings. Uh, fairies tend to be more connected to nature, the earth, yes, but God. they do exist in every culture. And I learned very quickly from the adults around me and the world at large that those things were part of imagination um, and they weren't real. Uh, so when I would watch television and cartoons and I would see magical creatures and witches and warlocks and fairies and angels and you name it, um, I immediately associated them with my inner reality. Um, and then also too, when I would do things like go to church or hear people talk about spirituality or religion, to me, there was always a correlation between all of those unseen things. Um, so I started on that journey at eight. I became really interested in like the occult and witchcraft and mythology and that kind of stuff. And then at 16, my mom gave me a book by a lady called Louise Hay. It's called You Can Heal Your Life. And Louise Hay recently passed away in the last couple of years. But she has one of the largest New Age publishing companies in the world. Um, and it exists just uh, down south in California. Um, anyways, that was my first introduction to self-help. And from there, I got into tarot and meditation and healing, and it just went on and on and on. Mm -hmm. Angels um, and fairies. Um, so what are angels and fairies? I mean, I feel like they exist in our cultural archetypes um, in very sort of obvious ways. We've heard about them, we've seen them, and they're in the media, and they're in the news, blah, blah, blah. Um, maybe we've had experiences with them. Maybe we believe in them or we don't believe in them, but what really are they? How can we sort of like um, bubble them down to their sort of uh, essentialness? You enjoying this so far? Did you forget to subscribe? Make sure to do so. It takes two seconds. Just press that little button, the red one, you know the one. Just press it, little like. All right, enjoy the rest of this content. Um, and so to start, what I'll say is that Angels and fairies exist in many different cultural traditions all across the planet. Um, they are archetypes and um, they go by different names. But when we say angels, generally in from this cultural point of view here in the United States at this time in our history, we tend to think of the Judeo-Christian model of fairies, uh, sorry, of angels and a similar Western mythology of fairies, but they do exist in every culture under different names and different archetypes. I would say the main difference you'll find between angels and fairies is that angels are considered to be the non-physical beings that can take physical form, that have a direct connection to source, God, goddess, creation, the all, any name that you would give to God or the universe would be what we would say angelic energies are directly connected to. They have a direct connection. Um, a typical example of um, an angelic force would be, let's say, the Archangel Michael, which My Michael's probably one of the most famous sort of Judeo-Christian um, angels. Uh, but again, angels exist in many different cultures under different names, different archetypes. Uh, fairies tend to be more connected to nature, the earth, Gaia, Terra, any name that you want to give the planet. Um, humans, extraterrestrials, um, a, a connection to the things that are what we would maybe consider three-dimensional. If you like this content, make sure that you like, subscribe, and comment below. And we also have amazing link right there for some cool product. I know you want to check it out. I know you want to click it. Go ahead. Go ahead. Come on. You can do it. All right. Until next time. Have a beautiful, blessed day.